Hello internet, welcome back to Slay the Spire. Now I ran into a little bit of an issue. Um, I had to take a break in between recording. If you remember, I had said about my back really hurting me. Um, so I took a break, laid down, and then I had to go to work. So it's been like nine hours since I played last. I could have swore we were on the next floor, but it appears that it did not save properly. And so it has reverted us to floor one. Um, and it looks like we just beat the boss, so we're going to choose our relic again. I feel pretty bad about that, because that means I think that we're going to get different relics this time. And that makes me feel bad, because that's not really a true continuation of the run. I don't know, you'll have to go back and check the last episode to see if the relics match up. Man, the game is stuttering again. Um, just re-familiarizing myself, we have the Oddly Smooth Stone, which gives us one dexterity at the beginning of combat, which improves all of our blocks, which is pretty good. Um, we also have the bracelet that prevents uh, enemy encounters in question marks. These are definitely different. I would have remembered these. Uh, I think we did have the orrery before. Choose and add five cards to your deck. Every five cards in your deck, you heal three HP when you enter a rest site. So we would currently regain 12 HP every time we went to a rest site, even if we don't rest. Or we could gain energy at the start of our turn, but we can no longer smith at rest sites. I actually think that's really good. Um, it takes away our controlled upgrades, which is bad. I do think energy is worth it, though. Choosing to add five cards to your deck is so blah. Give me this. It may be a mistake. I can swear that's not the one we chose last time. So unfortunately, we're also going to get a newly generated floor, but I don't understand why, because I exited from this screen, I saved and exited. So I don't know why it didn't save on this floor. If we do that in the future, we'll have to make at least one encounter on the next floor just to verify that it's been saved properly. So we can't smith at campfires anymore. So they're less valuable, although they heal us, of course. Um, so I think question marks are more valuable now because that is the only chance we're going to get to really upgrade cards and things. So I think we want to hit a lot of question marks. This path looks pretty good uh, because we can hit the shop and probably buy a cheap relic or a card. And then we can try our hand at the old elite over here. Do we want the extra cards or do we... I think we want the question mark because it's guaranteed to not be combat. Go ahead and start me here. Yeah, really sorry about that. I genuinely feel bad. I thought it would save precisely where I left off, and that's apparently not the case. Let me get my T out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. I don't remember our deck. Um, if you discard this turn, gain two energy. Well, we can't discard, but next turn we can gain energy. He's just defending, so we should all out attack him. How much does this do? 10 damage. For two energy but we could just get 12 damage for two energy with strikes so that's not really worth it the only time we really want to use that is when we're uh, able we're able to enable it using a discard 39 block is a lot of block my friend okay dagger throw lets us discard this which is pretty irrelevant in this situation so let's block <sighs> discard this Dagger throw to see what we get. Unload. Uh, we're going to discard block. We're going to hit with these two. We're putting out a fair bit of damage. What I remember was that I was trying to take more attack cards and lower the number of defends in our deck. But from what I'm seeing, we still seem to have a lot of like utility and defense. Uh, defensive cards instead of more aggressive cards. Next turn, draw X cards and gain X energy. So he's coming at us for 20, so we definitely want to block here, which we can't really do. We can... Oh, game stuttered again. We can weaken him, which he negated. Oh, you have two... Ah. Okay. So, okay. So he can shrug off our debuffs. That's unfortunate. It would have been really nice to reduce that. I think we draw the cards and hope to get some more defensive abilities. Get rid of a strike. We can get up to 8 block, which is really not good. Oh, man. Give me the 8 
block, I guess. Give me out maneuver. Or do we dagger throw? Oh, drawing is pretty irrelevant. Give me more energy next turn. Maybe next turn we can make something happen. They have so little HP. You know what? I should have looked at our damage output. We maybe could have killed him that turn. Or at least set him up to be killed this turn. Yeah, so hit him as much as you can. And then just don't take the rest of the damage. So he's dead next turn. Not the best fight. We did lose 12 HP, which is not insignificant. Just kill him. Okay. And then we move on. So let's see if we want to add a card to our deck. Piercing Whale. All enemies lose 6 strength this turn only. Nah. Flying Knee. Again, it's strictly better than a strike and it gives us more energy next turn. Gain 5 block. Block is not removed at the start of your next turn. Not often relevant. But I can see this being beneficial in some circumstances. Because we do frequently get turns where we have mostly def defensive abilities and we get a lot of energy. I think I would like to continue generating more energy. And then if we can get more card draw, I think that would be the most beneficial. What do you got for me? We meet again. A cheery, disheveled fellow approaches you gleefully. You do not know this man. It's me, Ranwid. Uh... Okay, have any goods for me today? The usual? A fellow like me can't make it alone, you know? You eye him suspiciously and consider your options. Lose Essence of Steel. What is what is Essence of Steel? Is that a card? We I I don't I don't understand. I don't have it. oh it's a potion. For a relic? Yeah, this is a garbage potion. I would love that. Trade 56 gold. Well, we're coming up on a shop. We don't want to lose Doppelganger because I do think there's a place for this in our deck. I just haven't found it yet. So, yeah, definitely take the potion for a relic. At the start of each combat, you get three shivs. Shivs are zero cost. I don't know what that is exactly. Feeling parched, he downs the potion in one go and gives a satisfying burp. Uh, look what I got for you. Take it. Okay. That's pretty great. To convert a potion into a permanent relic? I don't know what shivs do exactly, but we'll find out. So here we should start with shivs. Every combat, three shivs. Shiv. Four damage. Exhaust. So that's 12 free damage every combat? That's pretty fantastic. Can't, can't be mad at that. So let's go ahead and, uh... Try to tank the one that has a little bit more HP, I think. Okay, you're coming at me for 20 damage, which is quite significant. We can weaken one. He'll be around longer, so let's weaken him. Oh, it's only for one turn. So that maybe was a mistake. We should have put more damage on this guy. Unload, discard all. Okay, so first we want to block. We're taking 17. Go ahead and block for 12. I don't think this is a good card for this turn. Go ahead and unload. No. Go ahead and defend for the remain. No, we need to output damage because they try to mug you and then run away. So we really need to hit them hard and fast. So we'll use our strike instead. Oh, yeah, I had to go to work. I was thinking about Slay the Spire the whole time I was at work. I was like, man, I gotta get home and, and finish this run. That's not true. Actually, I was thinking about a possible war with Iran while I was at work. Uh, and also um, the uh, Chinese paddlefish, which was recently declared extinct, which is pretty dang sad. I guess it was a fish in uh, the Yangtze River. It kind of looks like a, kind of looks like a, what are those fish called? Swordfish. Kind of looks like a swordfish, only uglier and not as, you know, not as, doesn't look as delicious. So I think we defend, I think we just strike him. Because at this point it would be draw one extra card and get one extra energy, which I don't think is worth it. I still think there's a place for Doppelganger in this deck. I just have to figure it out. I need to know, I need to get the right turn to use it. Uh, and it's a pretty dead card as long as it's not being utilized. Okay, so we can discard probably the strike. Wait a minute, we have five energy. So this is free. We can play everything else. Can we draw a card? We cannot draw a card. So unfortunately, this just enables Sneaky Strike. 
six damage. Do we need two energy next turn? Would we rather we would have rather have the damage output? I think. Go ahead and discard that. Hit them with these, and we should have a lot of energy next turn. Yeah, apparently paddlefish went extinct. It's something I don't think about is uh, how many creatures are going extinct every year. It's something people don't often talk about. I think you're dead, bruh. You're definitely dead, bruh. And uh, it's interesting because we as a human, like as a species, we're pretty destructive. Deal six damage, apply three poison. Poison creatures lose HP at the end. Yeah, we already knew that, I think. So this is like uh, deal six damage and then get six damage over time seems really good apply four poison and two weak to all enemies also seems really good i don't love that it costs two cards cost one less for each card discarded this turn well this enables this works with our discard synergy six damage three times um we need more discard enablers but we will take this because I think we can get that cost down to two some turns and three pretty often. We have 141 gold. Let's see if we can pick up a discard card. Or would we rather remove one of these basic defends? Because they're not doing a lot for me. Let me see what you got on sale first. We want more discard. At the start of your turn, play the top card on your pile. Well, I don't have enough gold. None of these appeal to me. More card draw is good. <sighs> we could do both. Go ahead and buy this. Get rid of... We have more attacks at this point. I would rather get rid of a basic strike, I think. No, because we have all this utility. These are attacks. These are a lot of skills. I don't... Get rid of... I like being offensive. But we have the dexterity. Get rid of a strike. Maybe that's a mistake. Can't buy any potions. That's okay. We do have a strength potion I need to remember we have. We have 42 gold left. Literally not enough for anything else. That's okay. Head to this question mark. I do think we're gonna fight the elite, although it could end our run. We got, I wanna say Orichalcum is how you pronounce that, or it's possible it's Orichalcum. Uh, it's an or, it's a metal, I think. I think it's like an alloy of bronze or some, some kind of bronze. I don't remember, actually. I mix up all the metals and stuff. It's, it's complicated. If you end your turn without block, gain six block. That sounds awesome. Uh, and makes me think we should've got rid of a defend instead of a strike. So I think we definitely hit the elite. And then if things go really bad, we can just take this path to the campfire safely because this is not gonna do anything for us. So I think we would hit question marks and work our way up here. Yep, yeah, fight the elite. If we die, we die. I mean, it's not a big deal. Okay, two little, little buggers and a big bugger. Gremlin leader. So I'm guessing you summon additional enemies. Tends to attack for four damage upon receiving an attack damage, it gains one strength per damage. No, it can't be per damage. That'd be crazy. Um, I think we want to tank this guy to death immediately. You're coming at me for 18, huh? Okay. Um, probably we should tank him as hard as possible. No, I hate you guys. Minions abandon the combat without their leader. So if we kill him, they'll run away. I think we want to kill... What do you do exactly is the key thing here, I think. But presumably if we kill one, he'll probably take the time to summon another one, which will buy us an attack free turn. And we get six block innately. I don't know who to shiv here. I think we go safe and put it on the big guy for free. If we... He's coming at us for 22 damage. We're 16 if we don't block. I think we want to block. Give me... Get rid of a strike. No, get rid of doppelganger. We're not using it this turn. Give me... 
backflip, more defense. So we're insulated from most of the damage. Hmm. This is free. 10 damage. Yeah. Give me the flying knee to get energy next turn. Do 18 damage. Get rid of this guy. Deal damage to this guy. So we could have killed one of them, but I think that they're probably less of a threat and we should be tanking the leader as hard as possible. I don't think we've fought this group before, so I'm a little not sure what the proper strategy is. Is going to block and use a buff. What did you do? I actually literally missed what you were doing. Did you heal him? It may have healed him. We have four incoming damage, so this is immediately going to block for us. So our goal here should be to deal as much damage as possible. Which we can't do a great job of. Give me more energy next turn. Hit him. I guess we neutralize this guy, although it's so silly to do so. Oh, it boosted his strength. I should have left him alone. Dang it. Okay, strike this guy. And just give me energy next turn, I guess. No reason to block here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't really think about creatures going extinct. I think it's something that probably does happen every year where they're declared extinct. Like, they think that the uh, this fish went extinct. Oh, my God, 28 from you little bastard. Uh, 27, oh, my God, they're coming at me for literally enough to kill me, and they both have defense. Oh, God, we might literally die here. Wow, and we don't have great cards. We can block 12 damage. We can enable this. Oh man, no we can't. I mean, we have so much energy. Give me card draw. Really would have liked a higher tier block, actually. Um, can we discard anything else? Well, we can use this to discard. Defend. Defend. 12 damage. They're coming at us with so much damage. I mean, we can kill him. But he's not the one. No, we can't. He has block. And we can't kill this one unless we did this to him. How much damage is this? Six damage three times. Kill this guy. It's the easiest way for us to get rid of some of this incoming damage. It's not what I would have liked to have done, but it did buy us some time and saved us 20 whatever damage was coming at us. Yeah, big hit. Okay, he's back to doing other things. Um, eight damage incoming. I think we should probably kill this guy as well. So a flying knee and a dagger throw will get him there. Um, well, it depends what we draw. Give me this. See what we draw. Got another flying knee. Get rid of a strike. Flying knee, kill him. Flying knee, hit this guy. And then since we're not taking damage, we want to hit him as well. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking really hard. It's an elite. What do you want me to do? Oh, you get to summon two at once. That is unfair. I think that's a load of crap. Got nine damage incoming. We have very defensive cards. Give me the backflip, even though it costs me energy. Um, Can we discard? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, I guess we weaken this guy just to spare us some damage. Can't discard to enable this. I mean, we can still use it, but it's less, like, it's not as valuable. We get the six block, deal 10 damage. It's not enough to kill him. Hit this guy. Uh, outmaneuver. I guess hit him. I really just want to focus all my energy on this guy, to be honest with you. 
Do we want to gain one? I mean, we're not using this card. Get it out of our deck, and it gives us more card draw and energy next turn. Go ahead and end our turn. You're buffing, and you're blocking. Does your buff block for these guys? Is that where that block came from? Oh, you give them strength and block. That's pretty not great. 36, 48 damage coming at us. We do have basically all defends. Really not great. Give me acrobatics. Get rid of Parasite. <sighs> Neutralize him. That should save us quite a lot of damage. So we have 27, 39 damage coming at us. We cannot block all of it. We can kill. No, we can't. Yes, we can. We can kill this guy. Um, outmaneuver. Defend plus. Uh, defend. 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 And then unload to kill this guy. Really probably should have put that damage on him now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, but again, we're going to have more energy next turn. And we block every single point of damage, to my surprise. Man, you're so strong. Why are you... Why do they deal so much damage? Um, give me... 20, 25. Okay, 9, 17, 23, 26, 29. So do we spend every attack on this guy? Or do we hit him for 29 and take some damage? Ugh. Draw me the card. Screw the little guy. Hit the big guy. Because we can probably kill him next turn. Get rid of this. Flying knee. Strike. Strike. Defend. Probably going to draw like all defends. No, I think we can kill him next turn. I think we can kill him next turn. We're taking 16 points of damage here. It's a pretty tough elite fight, I guess. I wasn't expecting. Oh, he, and you buff your strength. So we need to deal 18 damage. Nine. We have 18 right here. Okay. You just, just do it. You're dead. The minion should run away. Thank goodness. Okay, so we survived with 24 HP. We got the bird-faced urn. Whenever you play a power card, heal 2 HP. I literally don't think we have any powers. Dex potion, and we can add a card. 5 block and draw 2 cards. Deal 4 damage to all enemies twice. Draw a card, discard. Well, that works with our discard synergies. I like dagger spray. We have no crowd control. But I think this enables what we've got going on, so I think we should take that. Give me the question mark. We're headed right for that uh, bonfire, so we don't have to... Remove all strikes, receive five bites. Navigating an unlit street, you come across several hooded figures in the midst of some dark ritual. As you approach, they turn to you in eerie unison. The tallest among them bears fanged teeth and extends a long, pale hand towards you. Join us, sister, and feel the warmth of the spire. They are vampires. Remove all strikes, get 5 bites. So a bite is 7 damage and heals for 2 HP, but we would lose 25 maximum HP. <sighs> but it would heal. We're using our strikes kind of a lot. It would only give us 4 because we removed 1. Receive 5 bites. So it act actually puts an additional strike in our deck. I like that. Give me that tall figure grabs your arm, pulls you forward, and sinks his fangs into your neck. You feel a dark force pour into your neck and course through your body. You wake up sometime later alone. An intense hunger passes through your belly. You must feed. Now, with my luck, that probably, like, at the very end of the game, they'll be like, yeah, but you were a vampire, so it doesn't count as a win or something. Oh, man, I hate groups like this. You encounter a group of bandits wearing large red masks. Hello, pay up to pass. A reasonable fee of all your gold will do. Um, I would rather try to murder you. We're really low on HP. We've never encountered them before. I don't know how tough they are. I don't love our potions. I don't love our. I don't love our deck. To be honest with you, 
Let's fight them. Screw you guys. Let's go. Hopefully they don't like steal our gold and just run away. That would really piss me off. Coming at me with 10 damage. Let's try to... Your name is Pointy? Let's try to nuke Pointy to death in this first turn. Which should be very easy, honestly. Um, we do have Bites. We have Neutralize. I don't think Neutralize is relevant because it's going to kill him. We have 4 energy. Draw and discard. Uh, deal 18 damage. So that's 1 kill. And it gets rid of Neutralize and Prepared. Use Prepared first. Get rid of Doppelganger, I think. Not attacking. Kill him. Neutralize. It, a neutralize won't matter, but the damage does. What are you, what are you doing? Negative effect. Let's get rid of that guy. Oh, I don't know who to kill. Get rid of this guy. And I think we want three bites. Uh, deals 18 damage or 21 damage. Plus we heal for six. Healing for six is like super good. And we would have gotten six block, but that's really irrelevant at this point. What does this do? You get two HP for healing, playing a, a power, which is like not relevant in the slightest. You've lowered my ability to block. You're coming at me for 19 damage. We can block 10 of it. We can block 18 of it if we really want to, but we don't. Give me survivor. No, draw first. Give me, give me the cards. Get rid of parasite. Uh, this is free. Go ahead and hit him. Well, for 10, 18, it's a little overkill, but it would remove nine incoming damage. So we kill him. We need to block, oh no, bear, ah, Romeo is upset. It's cool that they have their own names. I didn't even notice that. Uh, we block all the incoming damage, discard to defend, and then we get more energy next turn. This dude's done, like, there's no chance. And hopefully we draw a bunch of bites so that we can regain a little, no we won't though, we we'll only get a couple. Um, because we would like to farm him for HP, if at all possible, or he's gonna come at us for 15 and I think we'll just try to kill him. Um, so bite, bite, 10 damage, we're not gonna be able to kill him, he weakened us. Go ahead and defend. Literally, if we play defend, it saves us one more point of damage. So right now we're taking nine. If we play this, we take eight. I think it's better to just play. Oh, we have all the energy though. So we're gonna play basically every card in our hand. Does anything draw a card? Yes. See what we get? Yeah, get rid of this. Okay, so we'll just play everything at this point. And he'll be dead next turn. And we did manage to recoup a little bit of HP which we can just think of that as getting a little extra block because we got four healed HP, you know, so we're taking four less damage than we would have without it. <sighs> We'd really like more bites. Give me another card. No, backflip first. Backflip is actively bad for us because it will lower our minimum block from six to four. But we can also, we also have a lot of energy. Give me the card draw. Not really worth it. Give me acrobatics. Discard a basic defend. Can we kill him? 14 damage. Bite, bite, bite is 15 damage and six free hit points. So the bite's really working for us and we demolished those guys. Got 34 gold and a red mask. At the start of each combat, apply one weakness to all enemies. So they, from the very door, will be taking 25% less. Oh, they give less damage. So that saves us damage on turn one. Slice, zero cost, five damage card. Hate it. Apply five poison, pretty good. Or deal seven damage X number of times. There are times when we have a lot of excess energy. Hmm. But it's basically only a strike worth of damage per energy. So it's only really good when we're out of cards and have extra energy, which is not super common. And when it is, it's usually one or two. I don't know if I want that taking up space, but flat five poison is like, I mean, it's good. I take skewer. 
maybe should have not taken anything there, but we took Skewer. I don't think we're going to have enough gold to do anything at the shop. Maybe remove a card. Pop the chest. We got 75 gold. We could probably buy a relic for cheap. Start of your turn, deal 3 damage to all enemies. Every single turn. That's fantastic. Yeah, we gotta hit the campfire, I think. Actually, we're not down that much. Well, we too late now. We can't smith. Because we took that energy uh, relic. Take me to the shop. See what we can do here. You have any cheap relics? You do. Start each combat with an additional energy. So the first turn of our combat, we get one more energy. Don't really think it's worth it. What would we remove? Probably a basic defend would be like the number one thing I would get rid of. Doppelganger is really starting to irritate me as well. It's not really working for me. Mm, okay, so for 100 gold, we can remove a card. What can we get otherwise? We get this at the start of combat every single game, every single round, every single combat. We get this card on turn one, and it deals 11 damage. We can't afford that with the card removal, and that's uh, with our shivs means we could put out you know, um, like 26, I dropped my pen, like 26 damage over the course of one turn. Apotheosis, which my brain said is apotheosis, upgrade all cards for the rest of combat. That seems so good because we can't upgrade our cards anymore. Man, upgrading all these bites and everything. That sounds really good. I think we buy this. Even though I would... Uh, God, my brain says buy backstab and remove a card. I think apotheosis is like so good. Give me that. Okay. Hopefully that works out for us. Do we... We really don't need to heal. Why, why are we down at 8 HP? I thought we full healed at this thing. Because we weren't that low. Okay. Well, take me to combat. See what we got. I've seen the bird guy before. What's your deal? You're coming at me for 10 on turn one, huh? Oh, and you're weakened and took damage because every turn you take damage. Okay, uh, so we have all these shivs. Who do we want to kill here? Who's who's the bigger priority? I think these guys buff their strength every turn. So let's, plus he has less HP. Let's focus in on him for the moment. Skewer is not gonna get play this turn. We can draw and discard. Six block. Uh, we already get six blocks. So that's not worth a, our card. So I think we bite. We bite. And then do we doppelganger? We could hit him for 14. Or we could doppelganger and get more energy and cards next turn. Um, I think we try to get him as close to death as possible. And then we call our turn. Maybe Doppelganger will have a its opportunity to shine in the future. Really been a dead card for us. I really thought it would be uh, performing a little bit better. Okay, he's coming at us for six, which is irrelevant. Um, go ahead and deal the damage to this guy. No, wait a minute. Definitely upgrade everything, for sure, is a no-brainer. Hmm... Give me, hit him, because you're dead to any card. Outmaneuver, and hit this guy, okay? And again, we get six blocks, so we don't have to worry about this damage. What are you doing? Suffer, what am I suffering? Hex, whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one dazed into your draw pile. Okie doke. Uh, well, Survivor will fully block that. Uh, let's draw first. Give me Acrobatics. We have a lot of energy. Go ahead and discard. Uh, defend. We don't need Defense. Okay, we did get a Daze. That's fine. Block all incoming damage. And discard the Defend. So next turn, he will die to our Hourglass, which is fine. Uh, we're not taking any damage. Now we can focus our attention 100% on this guy. We've discarded, so this pays for itself. 
Uh, let's... How does this work? One less for each discarded card. Yep. Discard one more. Get rid of... Hmm. You know, I think the, uh, the heal is worth a little bit more. So we'll discard Flying Knee. Go ahead and bite. And eviscerate. And Flying Knee. I think we're killing it right now. Uh, I would like to thin our deck slightly, which is mostly just to remove... <laughs> I think Doppelganger is really, uh, it's just dead to me. 11 gold, a Swift Potion. Add a card to our deck. Escape plan, draw one card. If you draw a skill, gain five block. We do have a fair number of skills in our deck. Skill, skill, skill. That, I mean, we are attack heavy. There's only maybe six skills. Gain four block. Next turn, gain four block. No. Uh, poison. For one energy seems good. Draw one card if you gain a skill. We don't want block because... We don't want block because if we get block that's less than six, it deactivates over Calcum and actively hurts us. I think poison is good. I just think we haven't built a poison deck. I don't think I want it. I don't think I want anything. Skip those. Moving on. Check the next question mark. Merchant, you're like really not what I wanted to see here. That's a real waste. We could buy Quick Slash. Deal 8 damage, draw a card. I don't think... I don't think so. I'm good. Uh, do we want to stack even more attacks? We're getting so many... We're getting so much energy. wouldn't hurt to have another but it takes up a card slot oh yeah give me that okay shouldn't have done that i think do we want if we go to we could possibly get a new potion we could get a little bit of gold we could get a new card or we could potentially get a relic from the question marks i think that's worth it more in an abandoned temple you find a giant book open riddled with cryptic writings if you try to interpret the elaborate skiff script it begins to shift and morph into writing you are familiar with. Yeah, read. Seems to be about an ancient named Nia. We met him. This piques your interest, but you have a feeling of malaise. Lose a hit point? Lose two hit points? Nia blesses outsiders using them for her own purposes. Lose three hit points? We are about to hit a campfire. Obtain the book for 10 HP. Nil Rise Codex. At the end of your turn, you may shuffle one of ra three random cards into your draw pile. That sounds fine. I don't think it's amazing. Okay, and then we'll full heal here. For sure. And we're on to the boss fight, ladies and gents. We're at 38 minutes. A little slow. I mean, we did waste a lot of time on this, uh, on this uh, playthrough here. Just standing around. Negates two debuffs. You're doing something I'm not familiar with. I don't believe we've seen this boss before Definitely shank them. I mean shiv them. Sorry. There is a difference between a shank and a shiv a shank is a um, It's usually like a nail. It's a piercing tool a shiv is actually for cutting um, Although there was a commercial a while back where they said the exact opposite of that and they are wrong definitely apotheosis apothoesis apotheosis Give me... Do we want card draw? Three energy next turn. Draw X plus one cards and X plus one energy. So this would give us three energy as well as three card draw. We could skewer him. Ten damage for twenty damage. Hmm. I like Doppelganger here. Yeah. So next turn we get three energy and three... And we get to shuffle one of these into our... Draw pile? Oh, I thought it would be from our discard pile. It's literally one of three random cards. Ten damage if you have discarded a card this turn. Infinite blades at the end start of your turn add a shiv to your hand. And if we play this, we get healing. I like this. I also like this. But give me infinite blades. I'm never played that before. I'm I'm curious. Oh, you summon minions, you prick. I did not expect you to summon minions. Give me infinite blades. Every turn we'll get a shiv. 
Oh, I hate, I hate minions. We have no crowd control, and this is the second boss we fought with minions. Feeling not good about our chances all of a sudden. Uh, coming at me for 22 damage. That's real bad. We can block 21 pretty easily. We, okay. Discard Parasite. Block most of it. Sneaky Strike is free. Again, I really just want to tank the boss as much as possible. Uh, cost three. We don't need to heal. And this is strictly better. Yeah, Eviscerate. 24 damage. I think we want to just pour damage onto the boss. Hopefully that doesn't come back to screw us. Enemy loses X strength, apply X weakness, and exhaust. Yeah. That sounds good, because it gets it out of our, our hand as soon as we play it. Costs one additional each time you lose it, HP this combat. That sounds terrible. Four poison and two weak to all enemies exhaust. Cost two, I don't love that. But our current boss can negate debuffs. Just just give me this. I don't care. Maybe we should have skipped it. I don't even know. Okay. Incoming damage. One point of damage. What did you do? I didn't see what the screen was. I was looking literally right here and missed it. Okay. Eight incoming damage. He is buffing and blocking. Okay. Not great. Give me... Well, shank him. Screw that guy. Give me card draw. We only have four energy this turn. We can neutralize this guy to lower his damage. Give me card draw. What do we discard? Mm, probably bite. Crippling cloud. Two, I think we want to play crippling cloud. Probably dagger throw. Okay, give me this. Yeah, he did, he negated both of them, but now in the future we can weaken him or poison him or whatever. And dagger throw will be the highest damage, but this gives us energy next turn. Yeah, hit him with a, a flying knee to enable our future turn a little bit more. Poison stab, six damage, three poison, 13 damage to all enemies. Yes, that. Yes, that. And it exhausts, so again, we're not like super filling our deck. It will be removed after we use it. 9 block, 3 strength, 21 block? Why did you get more block from the minions, I guess? That's not good. That's real not good. 26 damage incoming. Does he lose block at the end of his turn? Sure, he, he probably does, right? Like, because we do. Definitely hit all enemies. Okay. I really don't want to have to fight the minions. I really want to focus primarily on him. 18 will block an awful lot of damage. Bite him. And we're fully healed again. I think as long as we can manage our loss of hit points, we can restore a lot with bites. Start of your turn, apply th two poison to all enemies. That sounds incredible. Because that just stacks over time and this is looking like it's going to be a pretty long fight. Okay, I'm not sure why Skewer showed up. Are you exiling my cards? You're not. Why did Skewer pop up? Are you shuffling things? I don't understand what you're... On death, Skewer is returned to your hand. Ah, you removed my cards. Unload plus is returned to my hand. I see. I mean, we could kill you. I don't think Skewer is that, like, I don't think you're a priority. 14 incoming damage, which Survivor will take care of most of. Give me the shiv. Do we draw two cards? Yeah. We block. We do get cards. 12 damage draw card. I think uh, flying knee again to enable next turn. I don't think we need... We probably should bite. Outmaneuver to enable next turn. And then I think we bite to... See, so we're taking 14, we're taking 5 damage, we could heal for 3, or we could block the rest of it. 
and save ourselves that damage, it's like healing for five. Or however many, I don't know, I can't do math. So why wouldn't you block there? Apply two poison to all enemies. Can I have more than one of these? That would be real good. Sure. I feel like we're overstacking our deck, although we have a lot of exile cards. It's just a matter of getting to the right turn where we can play them. I really wish you were not so strong. I also am an idiot and should have drunk probably both of these potions very early on. Shiv. Uh, yeah, go ahead and shiv him to wear him down. <sighs> okay, we need to discard. Give me a dagger throw. Discard Parasite. Play Noxious Fumes so we're getting poison stacked on him every turn. Hit him with this. Costs one less. I mean, we have so much energy, it's irrelevant. 30 damage. I mean, we could kill one of you if we really wanted to, but he would just summon more. He's coming at me for 51 damage right now. Let's kill the minions. We got to stop them from buffing, I think. And some of that kind of stuff. 20 damage. Discard all non-attack. Okay, block first. Kill the other minion. So he'll have to take a turn, right? And we can skewer him in addition. That was a pretty good turn. Um, start of your turn. Draw a card. Discard. I mean, that would be so good because of our discard synergies. But we're stacking our deck too much. Uh, but it's a power. It would vanish after we used it once. Oh, God. I'd rather have the zero cost card I can use to enable that. So we're taking, yeah, 40 damage. Or is, uh, fun fact, 40 damage. It ain't good. Enemy is stunned. Why are you stunned? I don't care. Let's murder this fool as quickly <laughs> and efficiently as possible. Draw me cards, please. You can dump. Neutralize, six damage, two weak. Pretty low priority card. I also don't think drawing four cards is really gonna be something we do either. Yeah, discard. Why can't I discard? I have to discard more than one? Uh, well, we don't need to defend. Why do we, why are we discarding two cards? We played prepared plus, draw two, discard two. I didn't even notice that. Give me, give me card draw, give me cards. Get rid of the bite, I don't, I don't love it. Draw me cards. We can get rid of neutralize. Give me, we're setting up for next turn. More poison. It's a free turn. We should be doing more with it than we are. Ton of energy next turn. I wouldn't have played out maneuver if I had noticed that these both had energy. I probably would have played the bite. Some minor misplays. I don't want to keep adding cards to my deck. Whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. It's, it costs too much. You gain, play a card, gain a block. No, we don't want that. Draw a card if you draw. No, I don't want these. Skip. Okay, we're dealing one damage to him every turn. Three damage to him every turn. He's coming at us for 20, 26 damage. Uh, okay, well, we have a lot of energy. No, 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 I need that card. Discard the Shiv, it's the least valuable card. Uh, defend for 25, so we're not really taking damage this turn. And then just hit him with everything else. Draw a card, draw a card, discard a card, bite him, draw a card. Really don't need 11 block, but it draws two cards. Ugh. Draw a card. Oh my god, stop giving me. I want other things. 10 damage three times. Okay. Okay, so he looks like, just get out of here, I don't want these. It looks like we probably will be able to kill him, although this has been like pulling teeth. I feel so out of it, I feel like I'm not giving good commentary, I feel like I'm playing really poorly. We could hit him for 48 damage right now. Bam. Oh god. We got an achievement, the automaton. 
So we beat another boss, 103 gold, swift potion. I never did use any of my swift potions. There definitely were opportunities to use these potions. Add a card, whenever you play a card, no. Uh, deal 13 damage to all enemies. I'm curious what the upgraded form is. I don't want to click it, I'm afraid to click it. Wraith form, gain two intangible. Reduce all damage taken and HP lost to one. At the end of your turn, lose one dexterity. So for two turns, we reduce all damage to one, but for the rest of combat, we're losing one dexterity every turn. That sounds awful. Give me die, die, die. I think this card fits and we don't have anything for crowd control. And 13 damage for one energy is good, even if it didn't deal it to all enemies. So take die, die, die. Proceed. Get a relic. Black Star, elites drop an additional relic when defeated. Well, yeah, but we'd have to fight the elites then, and our HP is in a pretty touchy situation. Busted Crown, gain energy at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose from. So basically, we would be locked into one choice when we got a new card. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. I don't like any of these, but if we have to... You know, if we're going to take one, we might as well take the Elite, just in case we do feel up to fighting an Elite in the next episode. I hate this, having one card reward. Although, do we really need... We don't necessarily need to take any more card rewards. We, we would like to, though. No longer discard. Yeah, but we have so much card draw that... And you have a maximum hand size, so, like, once we ended up... I mean... There's definitely value to this. Hmm. Give me, give me the star. Okay. And since I will be continuing this run immediately after I, I end this episode, I don't need to fight an elite. But we need to remember that for the future. So uh, for now, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I know things got a little off the rails there. I'm thinking a lot. It's kind of hard. You know, I'm very new to uh, Slay the Spire, and this was our first. Uh, rogue run the silent run so i'm a little you know it's touchy man there's a lot of elites here no matter which way we go um but that's gonna do it so thanks for watching hopefully you're enjoying the series i'll be back with more slay the spire in the near future and i'll see you in the next one